that was to get rid of this clause called management share, which I smuggled in during the drafting of the of the bill in order to use for negotiation with the oil companies. And this management share concept was used by the British extensively previously. So I thought, why not we use it against them this time? So the rationale behind it was to give us some muscle in our negotiation. Because if we use the management share, then it gives us clout over those companies that we have bought into. One share would give, give us 51% authority over the assets of the company. So it gives us a real big influence. And because of that, I think Shell, Esso and the rest who refused to even answer my letter to come and talk to us really readily agreed to see us after I threatened them by saying that I'm going to buy one share in all these oil companies in Malaysia. Anyway, that is no longer in, in the law. I suppose we don't have any use of this provision anymore now that uh, oil is vested in Petronas. And I'm very, very happy to note that apart from the two twin towers that were built, built at great expense and the sprawling Putrajaya, like a new Rome, was built by the fourth Prime Minister, also at great expense, costing more than I'm told 35 or 40 billion ringgit. Petronas is still in the black, still has money, and we still have some reserve left. But I'm told that no announcement has been made of a very big discovery. But uh, I'm not supposed to make this announce announcement here. But I was told that there is a big uh, discovery which could depress the oil price if it is announced. And I'm told it's not only the biggest oil field or oil well in this part of the world, but also ever found in the world. So that portends a good future for us and of course for Petronas itself. The only thing is I hope Petronas will be managed well and that there will be no leakages so that the money could come back to the people. And I hope that this misunderstanding over the law could be resolved. I don't know why people dispute my interpretation. After all, I wrote the law. <laughs> And I know, and I know, this was the intention behind that law, because I still remember ringing in my ears to Razak Swish. He said, "I want to use that money for the East Coast states." And yet, some great lawyers say, "No, that's not the way it is." I'm the man who heard it, and I'm the man who did it, and I brought the paper. It's an extract from the Hansard of our parliament where Tun Razak himself answered a question in parliament to say what is the right thing to do. Anyway, if it's not because there is this interpretation lacuna, if I may say, you won't be here because there's no money for you. And because of this, of course, uh, there is room for, for discussion. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've taken more than 10 minutes of your time. But what I'm going to say here is that 
uh, we must resolve this matter as quickly as possible and I think the government must be advised properly so that what was mandated by late Tun Razak who wants to see that this oil money is spent to get rid of the poor will be done in a manner that could benefit the people especially the poor people I know you can also give money or spend money even if it is given out as Wang Esan Wang Esan normally is given to beggars actually Wang Esan, Esan ni sedekah in Malay but but you saw what has happened in Tengganu a lot of abuses corruption taking place because it's not properly accounted for all this money that was spent nearly 20 billion has been spent through this so-called Wang Ehsan that's why I'm told the state government of Tengganu although was told that this royalty payment will continue now under this UMNO government in Tengganu refuse to accept this balance of the royalty money, the cash payment because they don't want to be responsible for the amount that was wrongly spent or misspent during that five over years this Wang Esan was distributed in Tregani you build a stadium it collapsed you build a bus stop it collapsed you build a swimming pool it lit all this because of bad management maybe tapi cerita sebenarnya banyak orang curi duit and that's why we have spent so much money nothing to show but the unfortunate thing is that Terengganu is still poor you see a lot of unemployed in Terengganu I was there two nights ago I saw a lot of them and I think they badly need assistance and if this money could be channeled properly managed properly I think it will go a long way think of the future generation that would benefit from this oil wealth it's not for us to hoard it or spend on another twin towers or, or another big city like Putrajaya it's for those people who are really who really are badly in need of help this money should be channeled there I, um, I feel, I feel that this matter should be resolved as quickly as possible. In Kelantan, I offered to be the middleman again for free, for free. I'm not prepared to accept any payment or whatever. If I wanted, I'm prepared to be the man to monitor how the money is to be spent, so that it will not be used for any other purpose other than for the needs of the poor and poor states like Kelantan, Terengganu, Pahang deserve all the help that we can give directly or through Petronas I think I shall withdraw now and give the floor to the other panelists thank you very much <laughs>